Welcome back to Living in the Word. And today we are looking at the penalties for breaking the law. So let's begin. Leviticus 20 verses 1 to 5. Then the Lord spoke to Moses saying, Again you shall say to the children of Israel, Whoever of the children of Israel or of the strangers who dwell in Israel, who gives any of, of his descendants to Moloch, he shall surely be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stones. I will set my face against that man and will cut him off from his people because he has given some of his descendants to Moloch to defile my sanctuary and profane my holy name. And if the people of the land should in any way hide their eyes from the man when he gives some of his descendants to Moloch and they do not kill him, then I will set my face against that man and against his family and I will cut him off from his people and all who prostitute themselves with him to commit harlotry with Moloch. Now, Moloch was a uh, Canaanite god who required um, children to be sacrificed to him. Now, any people who associated with themselves with Moloch were to be put to death. And even in this instant here, God says that for any people who even see or hear about someone doing it and don't act on it themselves, pouring out judgment on those people themselves, then they too are basically guilty as well. We'll keep reading. Leviticus 20, verses 6 to 21. And the person who turns to mediums and familiar spirits to prostitute himself with them, I will set my face against that person and cut him off from his people. Consecrate yourselves therefore and be holy, for I am the Lord your God. And you shall keep my statutes and perform them. I am the Lord who sanctifies you. For everyone who curses his father or his mother shall surely be put to death. He has cursed his father or his mother. His blood shall be upon him. The man who commits adultery with another man's wife, he who commits adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress, shall surely be put to death. The man who lies with his father's wife has uncovered his father's nakedness. Both of them shall surely be put to death. <clears throat> Their blood shall be upon them. If a man lies with his daughter-in-law, both of them shall surely be put to death. They have committed perversion. <clears throat> Their blood shall be upon them. If a man lies with a male as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. If a man marries a woman and her mother, it is wickedness. They shall be burned with fire, both he and they that there may be no wickedness among you. If a man mates with an animal, he shall surely be put to death, and you shall kill the animal. If a woman approaches an, any animal and mates with it, you shall kill the woman and the animal. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood is upon them. If a man takes his sister, his father's daughter or his mother's daughter, and sees her nakedness and she sees his nakedness, it is a wicked thing and they shall be cut off in the sight of their people. He has uncovered his sister's nakedness, he shall bear his guilt. If a man lies with a woman during her sickness and uncovers her nakedness, he has exposed her flow, and she has uncovered the flow of her blood. Both of them shall be cut off from their people. You shall not uncover the nakedness of your mother's sister, nor of your father's sister, for that would uncover his near of kin they shall bear their guilt. If a man lies with his uncle's wife, he has uncovered his uncle's nakedness. They shall bear their sin. They shall die childless. If a man takes his brother's wife, it is an, an unclean thing. He has uncovered his brother's nakedness. They shall be childless. So here we read that um, those who curse their mother and father those who commit adultery, um, those who indulge in bestiality, um, they shall all be put to death. Um, there's quite a lot of, of, of different um, circumstances in that um, section of scripture, but most of them are um, sins to do with um, 
sex, and most of those sins result in being put to death. Leviticus 20, verses 22 to 27. You shall therefore keep all my statutes and all my judgments and perform them, that the land where I am bringing you to dwell may not vomit you out, and you shall not walk in the statutes of the nation which I am casting out before you. For they commit all these things, and therefore I abhor them. But I have said to you, you shall inherit their land, and I will give it to you to possess, a land flowing with milk and honey. I am the Lord your God, who has separated you from the peoples. You shall therefore distinguish between clean animals and unclean, between unclean birds and clean. And you shall not make yourselves abominable by beast or by bird, or by any kind of living thing that creeps on the ground, which I have separated from you as unclean. And you shall be holy to me, for I, the Lord, am holy, and have separated you from the peoples, that you should be mine. A man or a woman who is a medium, or who has familiar spirits, shall surely be put to death. They shall stone them with stones, their blood shall be upon them. Again, God tells the Israelites to separate themselves from the things which the Canaanites did. Here he also um, reconfirms what he said earlier in the scripture about uh, mediums, um, people that are able to either speak to the dead or speak to spirits as they believe. Um, those sort of people shall be put to death. Even people that associate themselves with mediums, shall be put to death. So things like tarot card reading, um, all those things that that we hear so many people dealing with now um, uh, are, are sinful things. So we need to disassociate ourselves with those things as God has basically told the Israelites. Well, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video and God bless.